what's good with you, YouTube? Y'all would know. Big Rocker with a comics perspective. You don't even know what time it is now. I'm, I'm here to send a positive, nutritional message that's always, man. Hope everybody's having a positive day. And before we get to this video, man, please hit the like, subscribe, comment. Do all those things to help support your boy. And hit that bell notification for future buyer content. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, okay, what, you know, what's my day-to-day, -day, you know, what do I do on a day-to-day -day basis while I'm in jail currently? Man, let's start from the beginning. There's so much breakfast between four to five in here, okay? After I eat, about a half hour after I have my coffee, for about, from about five o'clock in the morning, I start my workout. And I work out probably about, shoot, to be honest with you, an hour to an hour and a half every morning, six days a week. Okay, I take every Tuesday off because that's the day that we have commissary. So, I do my workout first day in the morning from 5 to 6.30, right? Afterwards, I burn back, or if we're going to be coming out first in the morning, I end up waiting to take a shower. Okay, but instantly I start to wash my clothes, I bust down the cell, I clean it. Okay, then whether I'm coming out first or not, what I do is, nowadays we get our tablets around 8 o'clock, and... The thing that's cool as previously that wasn't being done in the county jail when I was doing time like 12, 13 years ago was we didn't have tablets. And now we can take educational classes. Like right now I'm taking a class on introduction into psychology, right? And I could take, and this one right here, I can take a CLEP test, which is a, uh, basically what a CLEP test is, it's, it's an alternative learning for college learning, right? Where you get credits. You take a test and you end up getting college units. A lot of times, like the uh, military and different uh, uh, places, they offer this to, like, you know, saying, like, you know, if you're uh, in the Air Force or in the Army, you can go take, take a clip test at a local clip center. So I'm doing all that stuff. Right now, I'm taking a, psych a psychology course. I'm taking a, uh, another science course as well, right? And I'm doing all kinds of other stuff, like 12 step recovery stuff. I'm doing PTSD. I'm doing anger management. And I already, since July 3rd, right, today's what, August 12th or 13th, I've already accumulated 100 hours in educational hours and over 100 certificates in different courses. Now, yeah, all the courses are a little bit different, but I, I try to do at least two to four hours a day of that, as well as any stuff type of education, right? Then what I try to do, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to work on my higher power, right? I'm trying to do some step work while I'm in the cell, right? Either I start to do a little bit of work helping other people, right? Or I try to, like I said, like my celly, right? I have to do this about my celly. As you guys know, he was with me for six years. He went to court today, right? And I've been working with him. He's one of the very few 21-year-olds that was on probation, had six years over his head. He wrote a letter to the court, and I helped guide him in his process. They just gave him... We him on intensive probation services, and they're going to release him within 60 days into a drug treatment center. So, like I said, I've been trying to do a lot of work. I'm trying to help myself, I'm trying to help other people. And, you know, like, we come out about four times a day, basically. As you guys know, it's, I'm basically in a general population. Uh, I'm in the highest, I guess, level you would call it in this town in jail, which would be... And what that is, is basically there's 36 cells. They let out 18 cells at a time, okay? They let you one day at a certain time in the top tier, and it kind of it kind of rotates, man. But basically, the program that I'm running, right, is basically the, the same like that if I if I was in prison anywhere else. I mean, basically, if I was in the SHU active, right, I still do the same stuff. I still to educate myself. I still take time to meditate. I still take take time to you know, uh, looking at different ways of higher learning. And so it's kind of like, like you know, I'm here because of unhealthy choices, right? Live an unhealthy life. I take accountability of that. I'm not saying that all the charges, all the cases that I'm guilty or innocent, because I still got to go through a whole criminal proceedings, right? So I don't discuss my cases with anybody, and I won't discuss it on here. But I do acknowledge, right, that I need to get back into the recovery uh, uh, the recovery work, you know, the step work, you know, and, and the spiritual work that I used to have before and start to find things to add to my tools and, and to my arsenal that I lost, I lost, I lost my way 
along this path that I've had the last few years. I forgot who I was, and so I um, worked me very hard to start to add more skills to my arsenal so I don't mess up again. You know, I had, like I said, people, people know I had almost seven years. I was doing a lot of stuff to help people out there, but I got to a point to where I became too complacent, and I was idle in my recovery, which is very dangerous if I got bored. Right? And I quit doing the things that got me sober and kept me clean because and I felt like, wow, I could beat this, I could do whatever I want. But that was the biggest mistake and I, I tell people that all the time. I'm not here because of uh, you know, uh the bad choice I made and, and you know, being a you know a bad person out there. I'm I'm here because I started to live an unhealthy lifestyle and got away from the things that kept me kept me clean and sober. And along that I caused a lot of wreckage. You know, from uh, being a bad husband, you know, towards my wife, to being a bad father to my kids, uh, to just being someone that just, you know, was, you know, on YouTube showing people that this is who I am and talking all good and sounding good, but behind the scenes, I wasn't always living a perfect life. Now, it doesn't mean I, I was on here lying about certain things because in the last two years, there's one thing I've had in myself. If I haven't been one of those happy writers about my life, I just didn't speak about certain stuff. You know what I mean? I kind of tried to camouflage it. I kind of tried to shelter it. I kind of tried not to discuss it because I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. Right? And I didn't want to really accept the, the accountability that I needed to accept by the things I was doing. So that's where I'm at on a day to day basis. I want a good spring program. Right? My program doesn't venture off. You know what I mean? And like right now, like where I talk time, I'm going to walk outside real quick. You got all kinds of stuff going on. You guys hear all the chatter? You know? I'm going down here, I'm walking down here. We're gonna have a little pair of right here, you me? You know? I'm gonna join in this pair real quick. Man, you ran from Fontana to Homeboy Moss. What's up with it, brother? You know what I'm saying? You know? So I'm taking a little look at the camera. Let me go back up there. Something got everybody out here, man, just chilling, man. Anyhow, yeah, this is not my day to day. It's not home for that, man. You know, and, and like I said, you know, whatever you got going on in your life out there, man. Just because you go to jail or just because you have a setback, just because you have a court proceeding that you have to sit there in your face and right? doesn't mean that you can just, just give up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I haven't been in the last two years, right? This is a... Man, I haven't... I haven't had myself back to being me for a long time. And today, I feel like I'm being my a true authentic self. I feel like I'm being true to, you know, true to who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the person that wants to advocate positive I'm the one that wants to help people, man. And, and that's what I try to do on, on a day-to-day -day basis. And even my stuff that's going on as far as... There was a time, man, when um, I was out in the street and I started to really, really hate God, man. And I used to speak, speak bad and say, no, I don't believe in it and F him and all this kind of stuff, man. And that's because of the... I couldn't... Actions, and I wanted somebody to blame. And I felt like, man, for six, seven years, I had committed myself to a higher power. I had walked in a spiritual solution. I had done all those things, and, you know, why is he abandoning me now? You know what I mean? That's how I felt. You know, why are all these fucked up things happening? Why are, like, the same people that I helped out, why are they turning their back on me? You know what I mean? Why are they attacking me? 
Why are people lying about me? Why are people spreading false rumors about me? Why is anybody saying You know, and I, I was looking at everything. Yeah. And it really made me start to like question, like, man, is there even a God? You know, why, why would God let, let people do the things that were being done to me when for like six, seven years, everything that I stood and stood for was about helping other people. Whether it was, you know, donating time at, at, at the schools or working with the church or sponsoring men. I mean, the people I took to the steps at today are still counselors and drug programs and they're still doing good. You know, and when I came on the YouTube, I had the same attitude. So when I got surrounded by a lot of the toxic behavior and toxic individuals, I mean, people that I literally helped, people that when they needed money to feed their kids, I would help out. Or people when they needed to pay, like, their, their cable bill, they could borrow money from me. Or just people that just needed someone just to be there just to talk to, right? You know, and why were those same people that I was always there for? Why would they turn their back? Why would they suck the lie? Why would they spread all this gossip? Why would they spread all these false rumors? And it really got to me. And it made me just question. It really made me start to hate people. It really Instead of just brushing it off, I allowed it to affect me. I allowed it to start affecting me. You know, it affected me so bad that I relapsed. It affected me so bad that I went out there and I felt so alone, right? That I was abandoned by so many different people, right? That I started living in a life that just wasn't my righteous life. I wasn't the same person. And the same person that used to always assist people and, you know, wanted to be of service and believe in that spiritual solution, I no longer have a spiritual solution. You know, and, and that's why I'm so, I'm so adamant and so I advocate so strongly about maintaining the same thing that you've been doing. If you're living your life right, continue down that path, man. Don't change nothing. You know, I have to really stress that, you know. Don't start to venture off into, you know, being somebody who's a, a what you call a liar, a fake, a false, you know. Worry about what you're doing. Don't worry about what the next thing is doing. You know, too many people use that to camouflage their own insecurities. Too many people do that because they can't look at their own self in the mirror and respect what they see. So it's easier to attack somebody else. You know? And, and like I said, there was a time period that when I was really good with my higher power and, and I used up some spirituality and all the negative effects that None of that shit would affect me. You know what I'm saying? I was able to brush it off and move forward. That's because every day I was doing God's work. Every day I was the positive influence of the community. Every day I wasn't involving myself with toxic BS. You know, I get it. I can't be perfect. And that's the thing is that before I used to always try to put someone attacked me about something that I didn't like, I felt I had to always react and defend myself. You know what I'm saying? Not me. You know, take a little criticism, be a fun, soak in the good, squeeze out the bad, let's just move forward. You know, but too often, like I said, I would allow it to lead me astray. And that's why it's real important that the message that I try to have today and everything I do, I, I'm trying to help people. Good, man. All that little shenanigans and, you know, drama and, and toxicity talking bullshit that people go through or that you've seen on some of these channels in the past and it doesn't have to be like that, man. There is those that used to used to preach and advocate nothing but positivity. And I used to be one of those persons, man. You know, like I said, I've been doing this for like let me see. Since two thousand twenty. Right? A lot of these YouTubers that you have that that you listen to today, somehow, some way I have some type of impact or influence on them being on YouTube today. Many of them wouldn't even be there if it wasn't for me, right? Every one of them, the most success. I wish every one of them could continue to aspire and that their channels grow and that they lead in the right way, okay? Don't allow, don't allow individual challenges that people try to present in this YouTube genre, right? The prison genre, the gossip genre. Don't allow, it's supposed to be a competition, right? Because a competition, man, you're not saving life. And that's the whole purpose of why any of us got on here was to help others. It was to be a, an inspiration. To be 
give me some, some, something that you could look to and say, look, man, what he's saying, man, I resonate well with that. Okay, what he's doing is working. What he says may be able to help me. And that's the same message that I still want to convey today. You know, for those that are struggling out there, those that are going through addiction issues, those that are, that are out there gangbanging, you know, the mom out there that has her son going through hell and just lost a kid. All those things, man, the things are people that I'm trying to reach. Now, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm perfect. I make mistakes. I fall. You know what I'm saying? But I'm able to get back up and keep on pushing. And like I said, today I'm happy where I'm at right now because how many people who've gone through so much shit in their life, right, get a chance to work on themselves. And so that's the whole thing is regardless of what I go through in my core proceedings, whenever I get sent or not get or get released or get sent to terms, whatever it may be, I'm not going to wait to work on myself in my recovery, right, in my rehabilitation. My stuff started the day that I came in here. I was happy to be at camp in here because I needed to be here. And with that said, man, that's how my days are in here, man, like I said. <laughs> you know, I may not be pushing uh, a prison gang to say a gender anymore. I'm not trying to be a, a, a soldado for no, like that, no movement. I'm trying to be a representative of some of, of hope. Someone that can try to inspire people. Someone that can help people. Like, you know what, man? Welcome was doing good in the beginning. He fucking fell off hella hard. Then he bounced back. Look what, what he's doing now. Look where he's at now. That's the block I want people to see. That's the William I want people to see. Because Flacco, when Flacco Flacco, man, there's nothing really good that comes to Flacco. Okay, let's keep it real. Flacco's off the hook. But when I'm William, I'm a totally different individual, right? One who can help other people. One who's there to, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever's necessary to help the next man. One that's going to sacrifice his time, right? You know what I'm saying? And just be there in the right way. And a lot of people forget about that. They lose their focus. And I think the free world, a lot of people want to care about themselves. It shows in their own actions, their own behaviors. And that's why I hope everybody out there, man, whatever you're doing in your life, man, if it's going the right way, continue to do it. If you're struggling, hey, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Seek whatever services you might need. And when you find something that works, hold on to it, man. Because not all of us have a chance at another recovery. But we always have a chance at relapse behavior. And that relapse behavior, we don't, ever, we don't always know if we're going to be able to come back from that. And that's a fact. So that's it. For example, ACP, I'm out.